Hey everyone, Val here. I am going out to my garden. It's been pouring down rain for the last couple days. Um, everything is really wet. Um, but I did want to do a check on the garden to see if there's anything else ready to be picked out here. We have gotten probably uh, half a dozen or so spaghetti squash. I've cooked them um, kind of al dente if you want to compare it to spaghetti and um, and froze them. I did half a spaghetti squash in each package so that I can have them later in the year. Um, I probably picked and um, processed, um, you know, taking the skins off the tomatoes, about eight gallons of tomatoes. I've got those in the freezer and once I get all the uh, tomatoes picked, uh, for the season, we're going to pull those out and then process them into spaghetti sauce and can them. Um, but, you know, we're picking a few at a time, so we're just uh, saving those into the uh, the gallon bag containers. Uh, cucumbers up to here. I mean, we've given away cucumbers. We've pickled cucumbers. Um, we use cucumbers in salads. Um, we just have had so many, so many cucumbers. The garden's doing amazing this year. We've pulled out all of the cabbage um, and and eaten that. I've got a little, couple little cabbages left. Uh, we've eaten beets. Um, we have bees in our garden, which is awesome. They, they help the garden. Um, but every day we come out, there's bees in the garden. Potatoes. The plants are up. I don't know what's underneath the ground. Um, the carrots, we've picked the bush beans. Uh, just amazing. So let me let you look at it and quit talking here. Um, anyway, this is what it's still looking like. And if you see, I'm going to back up um, down here. The, the squash and the cucumbers have just come out of the garden and spread all over. And as you can see, there's still some, some spaghetti squash. On the vines down here um, all over the place there's a, a big one there I'm gonna pick that one um, I have a girl at work that wants a spaghetti squash there's a, a spaghetti squash here that's ready to be picked um, there's spaghetti squash growing into the tomatoes there's cucumbers growing into the tomatoes. We have to really look carefully when we're picking because the stuff is just intermingled. Um, there's another nice spaghetti squash there. I'm going to leave that one. Does it looks like it can go a little bit longer? Let me. Uh, there's a little one starting here. That one's just little. Let me uh, walk around the garden this way. course there's you know tomatoes that are ready to be picked in here have to be careful here you see there's another couple of spaghetti squash down here there's one there and one there that look like they're ready to be picked um, they're in the tomato plants the cucumbers I put a cucumber plant down on this end because it was a late one and there are still you know that these this one seems to be uh, growing the really long cucumbers instead of going fat they're going long uh, so it's I think it's a different variety of cucumber uh, we still have pepper plants they're in the black pots they haven't done anything yet they were late starting because um, the ones that we had planted earlier just didn't grow. Um, we have beets. I've eaten some beets. You can see the red stems. Those are beets. Um, the bush beans are still doing really well. These plants over here are the bush beans. And then there are, if you see, there are carrots. There's carrots too. Uh, we haven't pulled any carrots yet. I'm not sure how they're doing. Um, but you can just see the tomato plants, the spaghetti squash, the um, cucumbers, they're just all intermixed with each other. But they're producing. Everything's producing. It's doing a wonderful job. 
So let me put you guys down and I'm going to pick some vegetables. Let's see what we come up with.
this is what I got for today. Let's take it inside and dry it off and see what we got. Okay, so this is the haul for today. We have a lot of cucumbers. We've got a couple more of the spaghetti squash and a few more of the tomatoes. Like I said, I had picked some tomatoes the other day. Um, there's a couple over here that I've left in the window to try to ripen. <clears throat> some of these are ready to be blanched. I'm going to blanch those today. I'll probably stick these in the window for a few days just to try to get the the orange ripened on them a little bit better um, and then we'll blanch those in a couple of days uh, my son is here with me this weekend I am going to give him some of the cucumbers to take home because he wants to make some habanero pickles um, and then <clears throat> I did notice there was a couple of bush beans that I had picked and I they were in the bottom of my bucket and I didn't see them so they've sprouted and I might go ahead and just plant those into little pots, three little pots and see if they'll grow and maybe just have some late beans. So I'm probably just going to go get a pot for those. Um, but that's my haul for today. This happens every few days. We get a haul like this. Like I said, we're up to our eyeballs and cucumbers. Um, we're feeding the neighbors. We're giving them away. We're pickling. We're doing whatever we can with them. We are very blessed to have uh, this produce we're having this year. Um, so I want to thank you for watching my garden update. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to. Let me know how your garden's doing. Uh, happy gardening out there. Bye now. I, hey everyone, Val here. Just went out to my garden and I picked a few more tomatoes and a few more cucumbers and I can't believe the size of this cucumber look at how huge this thing is I guess it got away from us don't know if that'll be any good to eat or not but we'll see should be okay still has meat on it we can take the seeds out so uh, that's one huge cucumber <laughs> thanks for watching bye now